Hello YouTubers, this is Brown1806. Um, currently we're going to have a little test here to determine how, how pure my silver is. Um, I, I found it very difficult to find any kind of uh, test equipment or any method as far as trying to test silver and see the quality and the purity of silver in the coins or bullion and um, it's, it's a lot different from gold I mean gold has all kind of equipment test equipment that you can use sophisticated equipment and uh, to the to the acids and um, to determine the, the carrots in the gold and your your jury and so forth but um, as far as silver it just <clears throat> I found it very difficult to, I mean to, 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 to know the purity and um, the, most of the information I uh, found on the internet refers to just looking for the actual markings which you know we all know that markings can be forged uh, okay so what I've done here I have a few coins laid out and a chain and some uh, silver shots that uh, we'll be testing with the actual acid and we're gonna see the different um, color results to determine the uh, purity of silver in the uh, actual coin or round and um, I have here a chart and this chart states that Silver purity percentage uh, 90 to 100 percent. It should be dark red the color. This is actually my first time doing a test, so I'm not really sure what the colors is going to be. Um, the second here it says 80 to 90 percent. It should be light red or brownish. And at last <clears throat> it says 65 to 75 percent light green color. Again, I, I, I was online. I know that they they claim that there's charts out there where you can actually get a, like a color chart that probably can give you more of a detailed uh, percentage uh, breakdown other than 10% gaps like I have here but I couldn't find that chart um, if anybody knows where I can get that chart please um, send me a message or some sort so I can actually get that chart because I've been looking all day and um, just as reference I got a little bit of information here on some of the coins that we're going to be testing I, wish, I hope I can get it all in here like that uh, I'm not sure on that fuel harmonic I think that's off for some reason I think I added that and I got it off some internets but don't don't really uh, I might have to check into that one there <clears throat> but everything else on there should be correct and then as far as bars and rounds this is just an approximate approximate dimensions of the actual bar you're, you're measuring or round I hope you find some of this information helpful if you can see it Oh, oh, that's just a purity on that side so we know what the deal is that if that's really the case okay so basically what I'm gonna do since I don't have a tripod I'm gonna actually have to pause this video and I'm gonna scratch each coin okay I've done here I scratched the Libertad up there on top there Let's see, let's see if this thing is actually going to get into focus. Okay, well, that's good enough. And of course, wow, you see, I <laughs> tore that one to pieces there. That's like almost like a black spot. Okay, and then there, I noticed that the, uh, the uh, maple leaf, it was harder to scratch. Maple leaf, I guess, with that mirror image, it must be stamped a little harder or something. Uh, with this here, I scraped it right about there. And then, uh, of course.
also screw that there. Okay. And this also was hard to scratch, which I scratched it right here. Getting the mirror edges is just it's kind of difficult to scratch. And this there. Uh, Okay, it's the Morgan. That's the uh, Peace Dollar. See, this is, this might you consider that might be a light red. See, this is a dark, dark red, so it's a slight difference, maybe. I don't think that comes out well. I have to leave the light on. These are the shots. This is the uh, Sterling chain. Well, she's going to be missing her head. Here's the American Eagle. And the Maple. So again, I think overall they're all about the same color. <clears throat> okay, I had to change the paper. It just kind of got messy, but it looked like everything was pretty much in the dark red. Um, again, here's a chart. Uh, 90%, 100% dark red. 80% to 90% dark light red or brownish. 65 to 75 percent light green color. I think everything was pretty much in the dark red. Even the uh, 90 percent here, uh, piece and Morgan. But I did get these gray spots on the coin. Here, here, pretty much here, here. Even the shots, they 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 cream cream color. This also creamy color, cream, creamy color there, and also there. So, I'm 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 assuming, oops, that this is all silver because I got all the same reaction from the all everything here. Um, there might be a slight difference in purity, but they're all above 90%. 90% are above. Okay, I decided to add uh, this in there uh, so we know what what the reaction would be if the coin or uh, round wasn't silver. And uh, let me just add the solution to it. As you can tell, it's not a dark red it's already it already looks brownish which the chart states that anything that is brownish is already under 80 to 90 percent and I, I noticed with this solution you actually have to give it time I retried it on the silver again and let it sit for a while and we stayed in the dark red for most of the uh, the coins and rounds so red the reds so, but as you can tell, this is actually changing colors now. So we went from a light brown to a, I guess, bluish. But definitely it's not red anymore. So this does not contain any silver. I uh, hope this video was helpful.